There are times that I seriously hate my former self for signing up to take an online master's degree in computer science because it's time consuming and no walk in the park. Today I'm going to try and quantify how difficult it is by both using my personal experiences and open source data available from other online master's degree in computer science students. First, let's talk about how difficult it is to actually gain acceptance in one of these programs. Now, the most popular program by far is the OMSCS offered by Georgia Tech. Dr. Joyner, the executive director of the OMSCS program, has noted that the acceptance rate into his program ranges from 52% to 87%, but is typically on the higher side of that range. This means you have a pretty good odd of getting in, especially if you meet the primary requirement of having a four-year undergrad degree from an accredited university. It's also known that the majority of these programs will require experience in programming, data structures, algorithms, and linear algebra. If you have all those boxes checked, then it's not difficult to get admitted into an online master's degree in computer science program. Next, let's talk about the difficulty of the courses. These are seen as equivalent courses to the university's on-campus courses, so they aren't a walk in the park. Each course will deviate in difficulty based on topic, professor, and individual student prior knowledge. I have completed five courses thus far and have an average difficulty level of 6 to 10, and the most difficult course had an 8 out of 10 score and the lowest had a 3 out of 10 score. Coincidentally, this is pretty in line with the ratings provided by previous OMSCS students via the open source OMSCS course planner Google Sheet Doc. Here, the average difficulty level for courses with 100 or more reviews was 3.2 out of 5. The difficulty of an online master's degree can also be measured by its impact on your time. The biggest commitment to an online master's degree in computer science is time, not your money. You can expect to spend around 15 hours a week on each course you plan on taking. This means on average, a little over two hours a day will be needed dedicated to meet the needs of a demanding master's degree like computer science. It is quite difficult to meet the time requirements of the program and requires good discipline and great time management. I also wanna to touch on the difficulty of actually graduating with your degree. The OMSCS has reported that 15 to 20% of students can drop from semester to semester. These students may come back in the program and complete the degree, but only on average 67% of the admitted students will reach graduation. Odds are still in your favor here, but it's a long journey taking most people two and a half years of consecutive courses in fall, spring, and summer semesters. To put it simply, an online master's degree in computer science is a difficult endeavor, not only intellectually, but also mentally. If you're interested in learning more about enrolling in an online CS mastery program, check out my short playlist on the process. See you in there.